Okay, so I've just done a auto-tune of the roll axis on the 650 after remounting the Pixhawk with a uh, proper vibration dampening mount, and also updating to Copter 3.5, which introduces the weak position hold auto-tune. So if you invoke auto-tune from uh, loiter or position hold, it will keep itself within sort of a 10 meter radius as it's twitching back and forth. Uh, and it will also rotate itself on the yaw axis so that it's twitching 90 degrees against the wind, so the actual performance of the auto-tune should be better, as well as the added nicety of staying in one place. So hopefully I will be able to do the pitch axis, the second axis, on the end of this first battery. So if I go into, this is connected over 433 uh, Mavlink. If I connect, if I open up the full parameter list, and I change the auto tune underscore axes to search for that. Uh, it's currently on 1, which is roll only. I will change it to 2, which is pitch only and then write parameters. Okay, so we're going to take off and we're going to do the position hold auto-tune in the pitch axis. So I will go and arm the thing with the button. Okay. We have 15 satellites, it says. So we're taking off in position hold. Uh, no, we're not. We're taking off in loiter, actually, not position hold. So I'll take it over here, drop the throttle into a hover on the barometer, and then activate the auto tune, and it will now start twitching in the pitch axis, hopefully. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think this Android app is Q Ground Control. Uh, I forget entirely what it is, but it starts automatically now when I plug in the 433 SIC radio, which, which does work over a USB to USB C adapter on my Pixel. Ah, we've got a dog walker. Hopefully, they will stay away or keep the dog on a lead and be responsible. Why would you take your dog off a lead when somebody's flying a big dangerous drone? Oh well. Right, so the wind is blowing. Is it going to update its orientation, do you think? Yeah, it just did, didn't it? So the wind is blowing from behind me right now, pretty much. So it's blowing into the right-hand side of the drone, because front for the drone is to the right of the frame at the moment. Have we got a lead on? I think so. Yeah, so you'll see it is... I haven't touched the sticks at all since invoking the auto-tune procedure, but it's maintained itself in a sort of, I don't know, maybe 15, 20 meter circle. So don't expect it to perform the same position hold as in loiter or position hold flight modes. So you still need a decent amount of space to do this in. Just turn this up quite a bit there. Okay, so it's beeping, which means it's done. It's returning to the position it started at, I think. So I'll rotate. So this is now the new uh, pitch. I'll switch it into the old ones. Yeah, so it's definitely changed the rates as well as just the, the stabilization gains. But I'll bring it back and land it as it is, and then wait for them to leave before trying the next axis. Okay, so I landed this arm with auto-tune enabled, so it will have saved those PIDs. This arm fully. 